Hi, welcome to my channel EasyML. In this video, I will be focusing on the first step of building a regression model, which is variable selection. Now, before delving into this topic, I want to introduce two terms, complementary and substitutes. An example of complementary is shirt and pant. So when we buy a shirt, we usually end up buying a pant also, right? Hence, we can say that these two products are complementary. An example of substitutes is tea or coffee. So there are tea drinkers and coffee drinkers. Very rarely will you come across people who are fine with both beverages. For example, I love coffee, but my mom, she loves tea. We can understand when two things are complementary when we use the word and in between, shirt and pant. So if you observe carefully, there is some interdependence here. And we can say that two things are substitutes when we use the word or, like here, tea or coffee. So, what is the application of complementary and substitutes when it comes to variable selection? When we are selecting x variables to predict a particular y variable, we need to ensure that the selected x variables complement the y variable, but are not substitutable amongst each other. Well, let us take an example to understand this statement further. I have burger here. What do you think complements a burger? Well, I think that a soda complements a burger, like we have Happy Meal in McDonald's. In soda, we have multiple options. Like for instance, here I have Coke and Pepsi. Both Coke and Pepsi complement or we can say go well with a burger, but we only choose one, right? It does not make sense to buy both. So we either buy Coke or Pepsi when we are buying a burger. Let us take another example. Here, I have breakfast. What complements a good breakfast? Well, a warm beverage complements a good breakfast. In warm beverages, I again have tea or coffee. There are people who have tea for breakfast or coffee for breakfast. Now, let us take a practical application. Let us say I am predicting house prices. Hence, my Y variable becomes house price. So, when it comes to the X variables, I have square feet and area. Both of these variables are important predictors of house prices. We can also say that both these variables complement house price. This is pretty obvious as a strong indicator for a price of a house is likely to be the size of the house. Big house, more expensive. Small house, less expensive. Hence, both square feet and area will help determine the price of the house. But since both these variables help measure the same thing, that is the size of the house, it would be redundant to take both, right? Hence, I take square feet or area when I'm predicting for house prices. Now, is there a way to measure whether a variable is complementary or substitutes? Well, there is. Remember, in the model prerequisite section of regression models, we went through the concept of correlation. Well, for those of you who need a refresher on correlation, click on the link below. We will use the concept of correlation to select the appropriate x variables. How do we do that? Well, we need to select the x variables in a way that they complement a particular y variable. So for this, we look at those x variables that are highly correlated with a given y variable. Now, we need to also ensure that the x variables are not substitutes like Coke, Pepsi, square feet area, etc. Hence, in order to spot whether two x variables are substitutable, we look at whether they are highly correlated amongst each other. So in the next slide, we will build the correlation matrix on the aforementioned IRIS dataset in order to choose the appropriate predictors. So stay tuned. Thank you.